Hey guys, uh, I got the Marantz 710 AVR in, and I got it all hooked up, and I'm going to tell you about that here in a second. I got the dogs over here. I'm doing a handheld video today, uh, just kind of short, because I'm about to get into this and tear this all apart. Uh, there's the uh, little mic that comes with it. That's a cool little stand. That's something that didn't come with my uh, X2000, so it's kind of cool. So uh, I got this all plugged in, and... The amplifier sounds beautiful and all that stuff. Uh, nothing, nothing bad about the performance or anything about that. I am a little uh, irked about not being able to set uh, distances further than I want to on the subwoofer, and that's because the uh, uh, the wireless introduces a delay, and so you need to put it a lot further away than what it says, and this thing won't let you do it once you get up to. Uh, 27 feet, anything over that, it says no, you have to reposition your speakers and just corrects you. So that's a little annoying. But why am I tearing this all apart? Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, when I first got this, I noticed on the back that uh, a couple of the speaker terminals were actually bent in to the back of the case. And, you know, I'm like, well, okay, that's not right. And but the thing is, here's what I did. I actually got this from Accessories for Less. It's a place where you can buy refurbished uh, audio equipment. And, you know, so you save a little bit of money there. And the thing is, is you're able to buy a five-year extended warranty for them, which is pretty awesome. So I'm like, hey, you know, save a couple hundred bucks and do it that way. And I got it, and I saw those bent-up terminals. I'm like, man, that's just not good. <laughs> so it looked like it either was hit or took a fall or something so Barry's trying to interrupt my video here buddy hey come on we're doing a video here bud anyway so uh so anyway I, I got that and I, I thought well maybe this is one of those blemishes they're talking about so I got it on a Saturday and I emailed them letting them know the damage and all that stuff and the box was fine it didn't get damaged during shipping it was it was something in the in the you know service center that rebuilt them or at least quality checked them. And so I got in touch with them and I said, well, no, definitely that's not right. We'll go ahead and send you out a thing and exchange it. And I'm like, well, you know what? Um, is there any way I can go with a different amp? And he said, why? My is awesome. I said, well, yeah, I agree. But it's this little thing right here. It's this portal thing. Now, I think you can read it there. It says TV audio negative 40 dB, okay? That's being up close. Now, it does have this extra display, which is great. It's readable. I can tell what it says while I'm sitting in my chair. But it does not... <laughs> I don't know. I didn't want to leave this down all the time. I tinker with my AVR constantly. It's kind of what I do. Uh, and so either I have to leave it down, or I have to just deal with not having it available. So. I mean, I know this is Morant's best AVR, and it sounds good. There's nothing wrong with it, um, sound quality-wise. You know, it's more power than I was running before. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with it, really, other than this display. I mean, I, I can't read it. And so, I'm going to be switching to the Denon uh, X6200, because it's just my regular display that I'm used to. Uh, I don't have to worry about having to flip it down, having to put it back up, you know, I don't have to worry about this being down, collecting a bunch of dust, getting broken, all that stuff. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's a dumb thing to return an, an AVR over. Um, and I probably wouldn't have done it had it not been damaged. I probably would have just lived with it um, and been annoyed. But, um, I don't know, the damage on it um, was just one of those things. I'm like, well, since I'm sending it back anyway, because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work putting these things in and getting them all calibrated and set up, and uh, it's just a pain. It wears me out, personally, but uh, anyway, so that's what's happening with the with the 710. I do like it. It's a very good AVR. Um, you know, it's able to run, you know, the Atmos, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh... The Neuro 3D, I believe. <laughs> I should know this again. And, of course, uh, DTSX. So that's one of the biggest reasons I got it. You know, we've got the elevations coming out. So I want to have an amp that would run uh, at least a 5.1.4. So, 
that's what I'm going for. That's why I decided it was time to change my amp. Um, but it, just this amp, just this, just the display, just that alone is enough to bug me. And it's not going to bug everybody. Um, you know, there's a lot of people going to live without it. A lot of people that don't tinker with it as much as I do. So it's how big of a deal it is. Not huge. It's not major. You know, and yeah, going from the Marantz to the Denon, I'll be losing uh, the H dam. Um, you know, I, I I'm okay with that. Uh, I'll be getting a little bit more power. Uh, this thing's rated at 125, uh, 125 watts. The other one's rated at 140. So, you know, I think the trade-off's pretty good. Um, it is going to cost me an extra 200 bucks to go with the uh, 6200, but I'm okay with that. Um, for for not being annoyed and <laughs> having a little bit extra power, I'm all right with it. So, that's my thing. Uh, I was really looking forward to kind of getting into a different brand. Uh, even though I know Denon and Marantz are the same company, uh, you know, I did want to kind of change it up a little bit on the channel, but I, I tend to get in these things where I really like what I like. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not upset about going to the 6200 at all. It's a great amp, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting it. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be another two weeks before I get that because I'm going to send this back and blah, blah, blah. So, but I got to say, um, accessories for less, they were really great about it. They didn't give me any hassle at all. Uh, they wanted to see a couple pictures of the boxes, make sure it hadn't been damaged in shipping or hadn't been repackaged or anything. But, I mean, great. Uh, within a couple hours, I had a return authorization. Everything was ready and good to go. So, uh, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Um, you know, at first I thought, man, I'm just stuck with this thing. <laughs> and also, uh, and again, this isn't typical of their product. They, they've, you know, made me aware of that. But uh, it was also... You know, I have, I have a, something, uh, I have a wire under the back of one of the legs. If it wasn't there, I'd be able to rock this thing back and forth. So it got bent up pretty good. Um, but that level of, of you know, <laughs> cosmetic damage is not typical. So uh, if you do order from them and you get something like that, be sure to let them know. You know, if it's beyond normal, you know, uh, I don't know, acceptability, uh, get in touch with them. They were very easy to work with, very understanding. Um, I don't know. I, I'm glad I, I picked them to do business with because it worked out. So, um, you know, and, and doing the exchange and all that stuff, that stuff's cool too. So, uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, that's just my little AVR drama. Uh, dogs are kind of kind of restless. Oh, I'll be good. good boy. So anyway, guys, that's my thing. Um, you know, uh, I was, again, really hoping to go with the Marantz and, you know, just have anything, but really that little display is, that, that's just, I don't know, for me, that was just the, the, the deal killer. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.